Hello, lovelies, and welcome to today's wider curriculum lesson on map reading. We're going to wrap up the last couple of weeks by asking you the question, can I understand an OS map? Remember, OS stood for Ordnance Survey, and that's the, the, the organisation that uh, creates maps of the whole of the UK. And over the last couple of weeks, we've looked at the various symbols, uh, contour lines, roads, all sorts of things uh, that they use to recreate our landscape in a map form. And I've say regularly set you the challenge of seeing if you can decode these maps and find, find out where things are. So we're going to wrap it up today. I'm going to bring it all together. And we're going to look at all the different things we've looked at. So first of all, at the end of last lesson, I asked you three questions. I asked you if you could find TLAP on the map. I asked you if you could find your own home. And I also asked you if you could work out the height of Slough. So let's have a look. The first one is, can I find TLAP? Now, I, I also warned you that they use the symbol ACAD rather than SCH because we're an academy. Now, on the map, there are two. In fact, there are three academies. One has just fallen off the map up at the top here. The second one is down here. And the third one is here. But which one is us? Well, the answer is this one here. Okay. Because this one is the one in, in the middle of Langley. So there's the academy. In fact, this dark black building, that's, that's the uh, academy itself. And we're probably just underneath. We're the sort of the brown area just underneath the A there. And that's probably the primary section. Okay, but that's where we are on this map. Now, the second question was, could you work out where you live? Now, obviously, I can't help you with that one. I don't know all your addresses off the top of my head. But now you know where school is. Think about your walk home or your ride home in the car. See if you can work out which way you would go. So this yellow line here, this is Langley Road. So are you somewhere along Langley Road? There's the little roundabout there, and then we get to the end. And we've got the music college, or the, the performing arts college there, just on that roundabout. And then we've got the row of shops along here. So see if you can work out. Now you know where school is. Can you work out where you live? And as I said last time, maybe you're not on this map. Maybe you travel a little bit further, and so you're not actually on this map. But if you are, see if you can find yourself. And then the final one was, can we find the contour lines so we can identify just how, how high Slough is above sea level? Well, there's a few contour lines visible, so we need to sort of look at them and see if we can find some numbers. And there, is, there are numbers there and there. So you can see that that contour line, which tracks all the way around there, is at 30 metres, and this one is at 20 metres. And Slough falls between these two. So depending on where you are, we're somewhere between 20 and 30 metres above sea level. So not very high, not very high at all. And you can see most of Slough, between one side of Slough and the other, we've only climbed 10 metres. So Slough is a very flat uh, town. There's not a lot of climbs. There's not a lot of ups and downs around Slough. So there you go. There's the three questions. We're just here in the red. The contours are in the yellow and you could be anywhere on that map. I really don't know. Now, here's a map of Great Britain. Now, from a previous lesson, we know that this is Great Britain and not the UK because we're only seeing England, Wales and Scotland. If we were looking at Northern Ireland, we'd be looking at the UK. And if the whole of Ireland was there, then it would be the British Isles. But this is just Great Britain. And on there, there is a red dot. Now, do you know what might be under that red dot? Do you know roughly where that is in England? Now, just above it, around there, is Birmingham. So that might be what some people have suggested. Because Birmingham is in the Midlands, it's in the middle of England. But we're just a little below Birmingham. 
and we're in a place, a town called Stratford upon Avon. Now, we've chosen Stratford upon Avon for a very special reason. Because in English, we are talking about someone who came from Stratford upon Avon. This gentleman here, in April 1564, William Shakespeare was born in the town of Stratford upon Avon. Yeah. Now, we're not going to be looking at William Shakespeare in this lesson, but we are going to look at his hometown. We're going to look at Stratford upon Avon. And here it is. Here's the OS map of Stratford upon Avon. Okay. Now, this is the modern map. This is what it's like now. So you can imagine it's changed a lot since William Shakespeare was a lad about 500 years ago. So there's been lots and lots and lots of changes. But I thought because we're looking at Shakespeare, it'd be nice to look at his hometown as our example map for today. Okay. Now, first question, Stratford upon Avon. What do you think the Avon bit of the name is? Can you work out where the Avon bit of that name comes from? Have a look at the map. It might help you. Well, it comes from the river. Stratford-upon-Avon is located on the River Avon. And we've had this conversation before. Remember from our invaders topic, so many old towns and cities grew up on the, on the banks of rivers. So the town is called Stratford, and it's Stratford-upon-Avon. It's Stratford on the river. Okay, so Stratford-upon-Avon literally means the town of Stratford on the river Avon. Okay, so that's where the Avon bit comes from. Now, using your knowledge of OS maps, I've got six different things I would like you to try and spot for me. So the first one, can you find a golf course on that map? Just point at the screen where you think you are, where you think there's a golf course. Let's see if you can remember what that symbol is. Well, there's actually two of them. So if you've spotted one, well done. If you spotted both, brilliant job. Okay, so there's the golf courses. Remember, just the little blue flag that represents a golf course. Now, what about a caravan site? So a campsite that allows caravans. Can you see any of those? Once again, there's two of them. So again, if you spotted one, good job. If you spotted both of them, brilliant. So one there and one down here. So the campsite is the sort of the tent symbol. But if you've got the image of the caravan as well, it means it allows caravans as well as tents. Next one. Now, this is a tricky one because we've not mentioned this symbol. So let's see if you can work it out. Or if you've been looking at the, uh, the OS symbols, you might have seen this one but we've not mentioned it as yet. A nature reserve. So this is somewhere you would go that's full of nature, usually uh, native birds. You often find a lot of birds in a nature reserve. But what symbol do you think it might be and where is it on the map? Well, it's up there. The symbol for a nature reserve is a blue duck because it's often waterfowl, water birds that are found at nature reserves. Okay, so there's the nature reserve in Stratford and it's that blue duck. Right, one we do know, one we've, we have seen before, where's the hospital? If you hurt yourself in Stratford, where would you go? Well, hopefully you would go there, H-O-S-P-L, hospital. Sometimes we just see the H symbol. Okay, so it just depends on the spacing on the map, how much room they've got, the scale of the map, so how much space they've got to fill. So it might just be an H, but there it is, H-O-S-P-L for hospital. Now, another new symbol. Well, let's see if you can work it out. Where's the sports centre? Where do you think the sports centre is and what do you think the symbol might be? Well, there are two actually, and they're there. It's this little person doing his stretching exercises. So that little blue person is a sports center, and there's one over here as well. 
Well done if you spotted that one. That's a new symbol. And finally, this one we probably should be able to work out. Can you find me a car park? Because the OS symbol for a car park is the same as the sign you would see if you were driving around the town. So what, ta what sign would you see for a car park? Well, there they are. It's the white P on a blue background. If you saw that sign around town, you would know there's a car park coming and it's just the same on an ordnance survey map. Okay. Right, well done if you spotted those. Now, here's your task. Remember, over the last few lessons, we've looked at symbols and we've looked at grid references. So your task today is based on the Stratford-upon-Avon map, can you give the six-figure grid references for some different places? The first one is the butterfly farm. So can you find the butterfly farm? And then can you tell me its grid reference? So can you locate it for me? Second is tourist information. We mentioned that in a previous lesson. So where is the tourist information office? And again, six-figure grid reference for that one. Three, there is a school in the centre of Stratford. I'm sure Stratford have got lots of schools, but there's one, there's one in the town centre. Can you find it? And can you give me the reference? Four, there's two answers for this one. There are two railway stations on the map. Can you find the railway stations and can you give me the references? And finally, although there's a few places of worship, there's only one church on the map with a tower. So where's the church with the tower and what's its grid reference? Okay. If there's any of those symbols you can't remember, then you can go back to last Monday's lesson and there is a full list. Or you can do a Google search for OS symbols and you can quickly find all the symbols that you might have forgotten. Okay. Well, there's your task for today. Search the map, find those five places or six altogether, because there's two railway stations, find those six places, and then give me the six-figure grid references for each. Okay, good luck with that. That's the end of today. Take care of yourself, and I will see you all in class on Monday.